Creating and Managing Groups To group users of the same rank or role and ensure that their access policies to cases are always the same, you can create groups and assign them to users and devices. These user groups can be associated with departments and cases. A single user can belong to multiple groups. To create a new group, click on the Configuration section on the left, then click on the Group subsection. This will bring up a list of the existing groups in your account. Click on the Create Group button above the list to add an entity. Enter the name of the group next and click Save. A group will be created without any members. Users can be added to the group while you're editing it, or you can edit a user and add a group membership from there. Members cannot be added to a new group until the group is saved. Once the group has been saved, use the plus icon above the member list to add new users. From the Add Members pop-up window, put a check next to any users you wish to add to this group. These can be regular users or guests. Click on the Add button once you are finished. To remove a user from the group, hover over the user in the list and click on the minus icon on the right side of the user next to the status. You can also set the default security policy privileges for this user group from here. These will appear below the list or on the right side depending on the size of your browser window. For example, if I want this group of users to be able to delete cases and files, I would put a check mark next to that privilege. Don't forget to click on the Save button on the bottom if you've made any changes. To modify a user group, click on the group from the list below. You can search for the user group you're looking for by entering a partial name in the search field and pressing Enter or clicking on the magnifying glass. You can edit the name of the group, add or remove members like we saw previously, and modify the default privileges for the users of this group from here. Once you have your groups created, you can now add those groups to department lists, as well as manual permission lists for both cases and files.